Okay, guys, here it is Saturday morning, Brian Nurley. Um, wanted to talk about Monday um, and what we're gonna be doing. Okay, so if you if you look down here, uh, we can see we got Monday, it says, um, if we click on it, we have our bio bottle observation and our level of, of organization assignment. Okay, so let's start with this bio bottle observation. This is gonna be the first thing we do when we come into the classroom, okay? So um, I moved your bio bottles up on top of the cabinet. Okay, so your guys' are on um, up on top of the cabinets. I kind of got them grouped together. So second period, third period, fourth period. Um, fourth period, I think most of yours are across the classroom on the other side. So um, what you need to do, there's a ladder in the storage room. Um, the substitute teacher will help you get that. Have one person go up there, pass down your bio bottles. We're going to make a quick observation. So where are we making these observations? So if we look at our bio bottle packet, right? So we've gone through, we've done parts one, part two, make sure those are turned in. Um, and then once we get down here, um, part three now is going to be observing our closed ecosystem. So they should be closed. A lot of you guys did not get them closed on Friday. Uh, so uh, that's going to, you know, it'll lose a couple points, but that's okay. But we still want to make observations. Um, and, and so with that, um, we have this observation sheet. And it's a little bit funky because it wants you to make a sketch in this little tiny box. We're not going to do that. Um, but basically, you're going to put the date. So it'll be September 19th, 2022. Uh, and observations, uh, the big thing that you're noticing is like if you notice um, something major, um, especially changes, right? How is your plant doing? Is your plant still surviving? How is How are your living organisms doing? A lot of you guys that put crawdads in there, they're probably already dead, right? Um, and, and we really want to take note of that because we want to see like how, what, what order does this happen? Okay, um, we, you know, do our do our producers die first? Do our consumers die first um, in our ecosystem? And, and so, so we're making any observations, anything that looks like it's still doing really well, we can jot that down in this box. Okay, and that that's basically it. Um, if you want to do a little mini sketch here, like your plants, like yeah, and dying, um, you can do that. So that's your observation, guys. This should only take about five to seven minutes max, okay? So you need to be moving. Get the bottles down, make a quick observation, put them back up neatly, okay? Now, let's talk about this levels of organization assignment. This is also um, on there. So basically what we're doing, last week we talked about the different levels of organization um, in which we can study. So we have them here, but the biosphere, biome, ecosystem, community, population, and the individual. OK, uh, so what you're going to do is in your notes, you're going to draw your own picture that looks kind of like this. You can be creative. You don't it doesn't have to look like this. Um, it can be laid out. Um, each individual picture can be separate uh, if you want. However you want to do it, um, you're just going to draw a picture of what that represents to you, what you think about. OK, um, now that picture, if you're like, yeah, the biosphere and you draw an elk, um, that doesn't really represent what's included in that in that level of organization. Okay, so you can be creative. However, um, think about the definitions. What we wrote down last week, uh, they need to be represented there. Okay, then <clears throat> once you're done with that picture, you're going to write um, one to two sentence example. Okay, uh, so for example, this one here, the individual. You'd write a sentence such as. Um, at the organism or individual level of organization, we'd be studying one specific organism, such as a bull elk, a single bull elk, not the entire herd, okay? Um, there's a sentence or two for you, okay? Then the last piece of this is after, after your explanation, just make a quick little bulleted list of all the abiotic and biotic factors. Now, um, again, right, so once we get down below community, we're only looking at the biotic factors. Above, we're gonna be abiotic and biotic, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, once you're all done, take a picture, turn it in. This is just going in your notebooks, use the colored pencils, all these things, make it pretty, um, but we only have one day to do this, okay? So don't uh, don't dilly-dally, okay? Um, so that's, that's pretty much it. 